This is really nice. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing today? I want to show you the new Gwen image model in the GUF version that works with lower VRAM and is very nice for fast rendering. And also I build a workflow for you for a faster preview so you get the results even quicker. And personally, I'm a huge fan of this model because it looks really good. So let's get started. I want to show you a comparison between the Gwen model and also Flux that I'm using on Korea. So here we have a samurai standing in the forest. By the way, all of these prompts are going to be linked below as a Google Doc so you can copy that over. Check it out for yourself. So here we have the samurai and the reason why I like this model so much is because this very much reminds reminds me of the SD 1.5 days and a little bit of mid journey. So I find this is much nicer than what Flux is giving us, even though Flux is very beautiful too. Uh, it's just this feels more round. It feels warmer. It kind of feels nicer. Here we have the next scene with the cars flying in this kind of sci-fi city. Again, it looks very beautiful and nice. Here, maybe Flux is on the same level, but at the same time, I like the playfulness of the colors in the Quen version. And also this kind of like off to the side composition is very nice. Next image, the fight between the dragon and the wizard is pretty cool. I like the composition that Gwen is doing and also the colors is using. Now, maybe the ratio between the dragon and the wizard is better in the flux version. But at the same time, I have to say that again, I kind of like the playfulness and composition and artfulness of the Gwen model better. Next, we have here this queen in her beautiful armor standing in that cathedral. And I really like the Gwen version. I'm a little bit on the edge here because the Flux version is also very nice. The only thing I don't like about the Flux version is we have the classic Flux face for that. And also the composition is very kind of like centered. So I'm, it, I'm both of them are pretty nice. Next, we have here this image with an underwater temple and the diver exploring it. I have to say again, I kind of want to give it to Gwen because of the playfulness, because of the Buddhist statues, because of the light that's coming from the light torch. Everything is very atmospheric. The only thing I don't like that much is how it the top part looks like broken ice rather than an old building. But other than this, even with the jellyfish, it's very beautiful. Next, we have this fantasy forest here. And again, I feel like Gwen did a great job to create a beautiful atmosphere. Very nice colors that work good together, but also good color variation. So mostly green themed, but we have a little bit of pink and violet in there. And we have a nice outlook in the back landscape. Now, Flux is here also doing a pretty good job. I just find that the elements are a little bit too plasticky. You know what I mean? Here we have this battle mech and this is the first time where I would actually give it to Flux where it just looks better and more atmospheric. But maybe you get with multiple roles a better version of Gwen. I have to say also here all of these images are first role from Gwen. I did not render multiple versions of that. Here we have a ballroom with dancing people. Again, in this case, I want to give it to Gwen because of how the people are uh, like moving around in the room. Everything feels pretty realistic. Everything has this kind of like movie scene vibe to it. While even though the flux scene looks pretty nice, the people are a little bit like too robotic placed in that room as Flux likes to do it. Next, we have here this scene with the astronaut. Now he's supposed to be landing and the atmosphere is burning outside of the window. In this case here, Gwen has created a crashing part of a space station. However, one thing I want to point out here is pretty good in the prompt. It says that the astronaut is sweating and he's strapped into the chair. And here he's really tightly strapped into the chair 
and you can clearly see the sweat running down on his face. So even though uh, Flux did here a nice job with creating the burning atmosphere outside of the window and the astronaut, the astronaut is not really strapped in and we also don't really see any sweat on the face. So for the cinematic purposes, Gwen is actually winning here. And here we have the cyberpunk lady. Gwen did a really beautiful job with the face and the overall image with also this attachment to the head and the neon lights. I also love the rain on the umbrella. All of that looks pretty good. Now the flux version also looks very nice. But again, we have a bit of that flux face. And again, everything looks a, bit, a little bit less atmospheric, even though it has maybe more detail and looks more like a photograph or a high detailed render while the Quen version looks more like a digital artwork. So let's look at the workflow that I built for you. First of all, we're going to have a look at the model. So here is the main model in the GGUF or GUF format. You can choose here from different versions depending on how much VRAM you have. I'm using in this case the Q4 underscore zero version. I could probably also use the Q5 version, but experiment with that, download them, see what works for you. Then in this case, you also need a specific text encoder for Gwen. You also want to download that. And then you also need a specific VAE for that. So you also want to download that. Inside of the workflow, I also made a note for you so you can have the link, but also see where it has to be downloaded into. So of course, the GUF model goes into the unit folder, the text encoder goes into the text encoder uh, folder, and then the VAE goes in the VAE folder. So far, so easy. So now let's have a quick look at the workflow that I built for you. And there are two versions, basically. So there's a basic version you see on the top, where you have just a normal K sampler, and this will then output the image and save it for you. So you render through the full steps, and then you have your image. Below that, I have a quick select option. This is for the faster preview. What that does is it renders it with lower steps first, multiple images, and then it will show you these images. You select the best one and render the rest of the steps. Because as far as I can see, Gwen is consistent in the composition even with lower steps. And this is why that is possible. So let's have a look on where everything goes here real quick. So up here, of course, we have the UNET loader. You need that for loading the image model here. Then for the load of the text encoder, don't use the GUF clip loader, just use the normal load clip and load the Gwen model and set it to type Gwen. Now, one thing that's really important here for all of this to work is that you have to update to the newest version of ConfUI and then also have to update all of your custom nodes. For that, you have to go up here to Manager and click here on Update All Custom Nodes. Let it run through, restart it, and then it should work for you. If not, maybe try that again to make a second update update of all the custom nodes. And then it actually should be supportive of that. And you should also see here the Gwen image type option. Now below that we have our load VAE, of course, in this case, also with the Gwen image VAE file for that. Now, as you would expect, this goes into the text encoder for positive and negative prompt here. Negative is empty. You don't need that. The positive text encoder has your prompt in there and this can be very detailed and also understands different locations, different areas in your image that you can describe and get results from that. So the up above that we have here the model sampling aura flow. You can experiment here a little bit with this setting to see if you get different results or if you get black images. So try this, but 3.1 should actually work for that. Now after that, 
if you just want to go the classic route. All you need is a case sampler. You can set it to as low as 20 steps, CFG 2.5. You can also play around with that a little bit. The Euler sampler and the simple scheduler for that, the noise at one, and then just render the image. You can also go higher with the steps. You might get better results with 30 steps, for example, a little bit more detail in there. Now let's have a look at the quick select that I built for you. So here you have to first activate that of course so first it comes in a state where it says bypass so first of all if you want to bypass that you right click on that group and then you can select bypass here bypass group nodes like that it's everything is going to be pink after that if you want to reactivate that right click again on the group and set set note group notes to always so it's activated like that and you can see everything and then at the same time you want to bypass the other one so it's not rendering at the same time now the first thing that's pretty important here that you have to think about is the batch size here because you want to have multiple previous renders so when you use the quick select set the batch size to two three four whatever amount of images you want to have in your batch size if you only use the normal case sampler set this back to ones you're not rendering through four images now after you've done that here we have the first node here this is the total steps you want to use so that's important for us because the total amount of steps changes the preview so that is really important so here i set it to 20 you can set it 25 or 30 or even more if you want to have that right and then we have here our first case sampler now here this again is rendering four images for us the important part here is we are only rendering here from zero to step five and then get an image from that this is going into our preview chooser is a pretty very nice note for that and what this does i set this to progress first pick so here you're getting four previews now these previews are going to be very blurry but you can see the composition you can kind of see what's going on in them if you zoom out of that it's getting smaller and you see a little bit more details in there now the way you choose this is with the numbers on your keyboard so you want to have number one it's that number two is here number three is down there number four is here hit that number on your keyboard and this will progress the rendering to the second case sampler the second advanced case sampler can see See here we're starting at step five and then go to the maximum step in this case 20 to finish the rendering of the image in this case as you can see here i selected number three from my four choices because we only have five steps it's gonna render through that pretty fast give me four choices of that so then this is the finished image that has been rendered from that and as you can see the composition is very similar it's almost identical so this is why we can use that preview and see if we actually like the result before we go through the 20 steps and this of course saves you a lot of time before you go through all of these images rendering to the end that is already everything there is to know about this model enjoy the workflow i've linked it below leave a like and maybe share this video thanks for watching and see you soon bye